Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Alright, so we're in the airport, as you can see. We're waiting to uh, catch a plane to Denver, then back to Houston. So let me go over, just kind of re uh, recap in the announcements. Thank you so much for always supporting us and all you do. The amazing questions and support. It's been awesome. We had a great weekend. The last three weeks have been insane, but so productive. So many unknowns and amazing things have happened. We'll talk about that today. Uh, make sure you know you're you subscribed to our podcast, our Facebook likes, share. Share is the best way of thank you, you could give us. Uh, it's just the ultimate sh uh, showing us love in, in the best way possible by just showing the share. And we, we know that you don't share everything, so I know when you do share something, it means that you really support. So we appreciate that. Uh, thank you for the cool swag. We've been getting a lot of people getting the hero shirts on. Hopefully you're wearing that and uh, you're feeling good about it. You're embracing your hero. And uh, what else, Tim? We're good. I think we got it all there. So, you you know, just all the stuff I say every 15-minute fuel. So let's get into the, the meat and the potatoes. So I'm holding this now. I don't have that little stick stand I usually carry. There's Timmy D. All right, so we're going to talk about today. Weekend went great. Um, it went... It, it went about it went about ninety percent of the vision I thought it would be, but it actually turned out to be greater than I thought it would it would turn out. So it turned out exactly what it needed to turn out. You know, a lot of good things. The hero message is totally accepted and pumped for the world. I mean, that's what we need. So now this is what I'm going to talk about. So, so we have this hero message, um, and remember, you want to embrace the unknowns, right? The unknown opportunities. So I go to the seminar. The seminar was about reaching. It was called Reach Live. Amazing. Um, how to tell your, you know, getting your story out, getting on different stages, and then scaling it. And remember, I said the three, the three pillars I had were number one, embrace the hero mindset. Number two was find your superpowers. I'm sorry, remember your superpowers, your gifts and talents. And three was find your vehicle of influence. Right. So that's the thing. So. I am the hero. I have a passion, or so I'm, uh, you know, I have a, a pride for helping kids, and my vehicle is uh, writing books, right? So if that, if that's what it is. And I tell you, start writing that, start doing it every day. But now I think there's a fourth pillar, which is taking what you love to do and having it, be, being able to monetize it, right? In a way that's, you know, if you if you're writing books for kids, you're gonna learn how to market it and sell it, so you can make what you love to do support and actually create a better income than what you do in your nine to five job. You follow? Because that's what you ultimately want to do, right? You want to do what you love to do. We work so we can ultimately someday do what we want to do. But I'm saying why don't you just start doing that now and then start building that up so there comes a day where you don't have to do your nine to five job and you can do what you were created to do. So that's the theory there. Okay, so we do, uh, we go to the seminar, we do it. So now, now, okay, I got the validation that the hero message is alive and strong. So now, now we got to go big, right? So the market accepted it, right? Because the market, market might not accept my message, not because they don't like me. I mean, just look, um, the Kardashians, the market loves them, right? Even though some of you guys are sick of it, you know, or just think of all the things that the market likes on TV and it doesn't even support your values. So, but it supported it. So when it supports it, it was the, the validation that I needed this week to then say, okay, we're in, and now I made the decision to go huge. I was going huge before, but now we're going to go big, because I'm, I'm in a seminar with these people over 13 years, these coaches, get people on stages, big stages, and really make a huge impact. So now, you got to make the decision. And myself, plus the 300 people in the crowd, they have to decide, is my message, is my message worthy of me? Right, so this is this message is a big. Is, is it worthy of my time? Yes. Is it important to me? Absolutely. Do I love it? Yes. Do I believe in it? Yes. So if that's the case, are you worthy of your message? Absolutely, I'm worthy. Yes. If that's the case, now I need to invest in that message. I need to invest in myself to now make it grow. Right? Because if I don't move forward, because I, and the reason I'm saying this because what hurt me, not hurt me. I, I was saddened for people in the crowd because I made the decision. I went up to the. the the, the leader of that seminar and say, listen, I get, listen, this, you see what I could do, you see what I'm capable of, what do I need to do to go big to the next level as fast as possible? Name your price. That's basically, that's basically what I did because there's no amount of money that he could have told me 
it would have all been worth it because the money, I, if I didn't spend the money to invest to go higher, if I just didn't spend the money to invest in my purpose and my message, it would have cost me so much more to stay the same, not grow, not get the message out, and the regret and the pain. Or let's say I said, I'm just going to, I'm not going to invest in it, I'm going to try to figure it out on my own. And all that time and mistakes and all the things of trying to figure it out because I was, I didn't want to invest in it. Because, so I was all in, right? So, but a lot of people, they weren't all in. And it's like either they didn't believe in their message or it was that secret identity trying to keep them comfortable, right? The secret identity fights when it's about to die. So basically these people, when they, when they didn't invest in themselves to take their message to a new level, they were, were literally accepting and feeding the secret identity. See, when I, did, when, when I invested in my, my message and the hero and myself, I'm feeding my purpose, right? I'm feeding the hero message. I'm feeding my self-worth and my, my confidence in what I do. But if I didn't invest uncomfortably, and it was an uncomfortable investment, but if I didn't invest, I literally am feeding the secret identity, feeding the insecurity, feeding me just to be the same, which you don't, you're not the same, you go backwards, and, and actually setting myself up for failure. Because what happens? Who I'm working with now, he has over 13 years of experience getting over people on over 25,000 different stages, 21 meeting planners. So I want to work with that coach to get me from A to Z with all his experience over the years so I don't have to figure it out again. So for the person who didn't invest for that in themselves, they're going to now try it on their own. More power to them. But it increases the time. Now when you increase the time and it takes longer and it costs more money, and it costs more frustration. The longer the time gets, the law of diminishing intent kicks in, and then it could very easily be the secret identity wins by saying, just go back to your regular job. You were doing good there. Maybe this was just a fad, and the message dies. Because the message will die. See, the me your, message is t your message is time sensitive. Your message is time sensitive. Why do I say it's time sensitive? Because now that I invested, boom, I invested. Now, when I invested, I took one obstacle, I, when, I, when I paid and I invested, right, I took something out of the way, now I could fully have a plan to go forward, right? So a lot of times that, that investment in yourself is the only thing holding you back from really going to the next level and reaching your potential. It's just that payment, it's just that time or whatever that, that exchange of value is. So not doing that, the secret identity wins and you're feeding it. And the reason why your, your message is time sensitive is because the more you... The more often you don't invest in yourself to get your message out or your story or your gifts, and the more you, you succumb and feed your secret identity, there's going to come a time, there's going to come a time where actually the secret identity grows stronger and stronger, and the fight gets so strong, you can't beat it anymore, and you're stuck. All right, so that's why we need to be able to say, hey, listen, you know, the fact that I can invest in myself, and even if I had a bar, it's, it has nothing to do with do I have the money? And it has nothing to do with, um, is this program valuable to me? The program is valuable. For some people, I believe, they feel that if they, they, if they invested in themselves, just like they had invested in themselves before, they might not follow through, right? A lot of people say, well, I did try, I, I did join something before, but I didn't keep up to my end and I failed. And so I don't want to fail. So they don't feel they're worthy or they, or they feel that they're the ones that'll not follow through. You're feeding the secret identity and it gets stronger and stronger, and your message over time will start to fade and die, the law of diminishing intent. Also understand when you do invest in yourself time and money with somebody else to take you from A to Z much quicker, faster, stronger, and efficiently, you feed your, you feed your purpose, you feed your hero, and then because you invested in yourself, you now give yourself the permission and other people permission to do the same. So when I'll be on a stage and I get to ask someone to get this program and that program, like I invested in myself, so sure. You know, I could be congruent and say invest in yourself. So a lot of times it, it's just this, this mental anguish that's going on. It's incongruent. So if someone says, I believe in my message and I'll do whatever it takes to serve the world and say, so hey, did you join? Are you going to do that course? Oh, no. I'm just kind of thinking about my next step. It's totally incongruent. So they're saying one thing and doing the other. I get it. I get it. We all get scared, but guess, what's be guess what beats fear? Action, right? So if you're scared, you make a decision and you go. You put action behind it. So that, 
So that was the most exciting thing I had this week. So I made the investment. I went I, because the, my goal was to go as big as possible, as fast as possible. And fast in the speaking world might be two or three years, right? A lot goes into it. But I'm telling you right now, it'll be so now that's out of the way. I have a new team, a whole new team, to be able to give me the, the 13 years of experience, so we could start hitting. We could start hitting the big stages that we need to be and make an even bigger impact. So remember, the hero says, the hero says, they don't say, well, what if I do? Well, what if I do it? Well, I could probably get noticed more and get on different stages and you know maybe a nice little business. But the hero says, what if I don't? Right, so what if I what if I didn't do that today? What if, what if I didn't get uncomfortable invested in myself? Or what if I didn't get uncomfortable and maybe borrowed money to do something to feed my purpose? Well, I would stay tormented. I would stay the same and go backwards. I wouldn't reach out to the people that I could. I wouldn't be able to affect as many lives. I wouldn't bring a sense of fulfillment to myself to be happier, to have my family be happier. You follow? What if I don't? became, when I say what if I don't, I see if I stay the same, the anguish that would cause. So for me, investing in myself today was far less painful than not investing in myself and paying for it in every other area, such as my message dying and my soul rotting. You follow? So even if you, and the reason why I say even if, if you have to borrow, if you're watching this right now, and you're like, man, I could never spend that amount of money for my purpose, I don't have it, yeah? Well, why didn't you say that when you borrowed for your car and you borrowed for your house and you borrowed for, uh, what do you call it? A TV. You no, know, not a TV. Like you, you borrowed for. Uh, oh, your your liabilities. Liabilities. How many of us on the line we borrowed for liabilities, but we never borrowed for our assets or something that actually could multiply in our life? It's crazy, but that's the secret identity. That's what society has taught us. Your credit card, all this stuff. We're we're being taught to borrow for liabilities things that don't matter versus even if we had to borrow for our future I mean we borrow for school right you borrow I mean like four hundred four hundred thousand dollars for school it got me a piece of paper though and that allows me the ability to practice help more people and then that allowed me to have another, another platform so you see you, you could borrow to feed your purpose borrow to feed you know your your hero even if you don't have it and then instead of like we talk don't talk about what you're gonna lose Think about what am I going to gain? So now I know what am I going to gain? I have a new, I have relationship capital, new connections, um, a new, a new avenue of different ways and platforms to get my message of the hero out to the world. All this opens up with this new opportunity, and the new opportunity sometimes has to be bought, right? It's potential. You're trading value. But if I didn't invest in myself, like, and, I, and I, it's not this is not about a me thing, it's about you investing in yourself and your purpose, then that would have never happened, and I would have been the same, and I would have just, and you know what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to make an impact the way I could on this next level. So my my message to you guys is, we've been taught to borrow for liabilities. We've never been taught to invest in ourselves, or have, or to feel worthy enough to invest in yourself, because when you look in the mirror and you think of your message or who you are, you're the greatest asset. Everything should go into you. But we spend it on other things that really don't matter when you're the one who matters. And your message on the inside, your hero is the thing that matters. So I'm asking that if you have it, spend it on yourself. And when you spend it on yourself, just think that's the greatest, the return on that is amazing. And also, if it does feel uncomfortable, that's probably the best way to be because when it's uncomfortable, it forces you to stretch. And that uncomfortableness is your secret identity dying. So when it's uncomfortable, it forces the secret identity to die. You're here to rise. But if you stay comfortable and, co and conform, so, because I know some people email, well, doc, I don't have anything. Yeah, but you still buy your Starbucks, you know, or you're, gonna, you're still borrowing for your car. You borrowed for your house. Borrow for your future, right? You can borrow for your future. Because if you don't borrow for your future, just think of all the opportunities that would never arise from you taking that. Like the thing is, you're taking just like you would take a risk on an investment. How many people put money in the stock market to take a risk, and they can't control it? But here, you could invest in yourself, and who better? Who better else? Like that's no risk if you risk in, if you if you uh, invest in yourself. So that's my message today. Let me see what's going on here. Um, and when you invest in yourself, of course you you appreciate everything you do. Michael Isom says the number one asset is you. Yeah, I work with Mike because we get it, you know. 
I mean, remember guys, this is not your fault. You know, it's not your fault because it's the way we were raised. I was raised in a family who made horrible money mistakes. Horrible. Whitney, horrible money mistakes. So when we see that growing up, we're like, we don't want that to happen to us. So, so money became something that equaled security and golden shackles, so to speak. Meaning that like, if I let it go, that meant someone was taken away from me. I, I didn't want to experience what my parents felt, right? Versus, man, let me take this dollar, put it back into me and my family, and create new opportunities to take my message, right? Because your, your, your mindset, your message to another level. So if you guys like this, hit the uh, heart, hit the share. Hey, Sean, good to see you. Hey, Kayla, my wife's on. She's like, wait, <laughs> she's over there. Uh, Mike said this, those who invest in other areas other than themselves and their own purpose, their own business devalue themselves and their own purpose. Very good. Okay, so Mike, Mike, Mike basically what Mike said this, because I was thinking like, why would, not, why would someone not take advantage of investing? Because everybody was there who had, a, everybody at the seminar had a message, different levels, meaning that some were beginners, like I have a message, but I don't know how clear it is. Some people have the message. I'm like intermediate. I have it and we're working on it. But for them not to invest in themselves, it was invalidating. Don't you think that's invalidating? Because when you, when you don't, it's, you're invalidating yourself saying, I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it, so you are worth it. Let's do the scroll here, hey cat. The hero says I'm committed versus interested, right. Barring for things that appreciate versus depreciate, absolutely. So Kayla, you know Kayla, I'm looking at Kayla right there. We're starting a new company, right, which is awesome. So guys, when you start a new company, like, your company is yours, invest in it. It's so easy to say, well, that's expensive, but you know what's expensive? Your, your hero and your purpose dying, that's really expensive. I've seen it and happen to too many people because I never want you to the point of apathy to say, you know what, that was just a fad, an idea. I, I did, and, you know, and just, and just stay the same. Uh, around this weekend, I get to see everybody else's hero come out. Like, you see, when people, what I mean by that, when I saw people talking about their purpose, I'm seeing their hero come out and I see that so many people have all people have a hero inside them and to see people at different levels trying to get it out and you can see the conflict they're trying but they don't really quite have it and I realize that every single person watching this you have this hero it's not if it's there and I'm just asking you to remember it and when it wants to come out and that secret identity wants to give you scarcity and fear you need to understand consciously that that's what's happening it's trying to keep you conformed trying to keep you less than right so I'm asking you to embrace the hero and feed the hero. See, a lot of you guys don't realize you have the hero inside you. It's there. Remember it? So when when you remember the hero, the hero's it's like it's a little weak. Why? Because you just remembered it was there. So you haven't fed it. So you need to feed it. So how do you feed it? The mindset. Start doing the things you love to do and start investing. Feed it with time and, and, and value to start growing it. Because your secret identity could be really strong because that's that's what I was for 30 years. So in the last 100 days feeding the hero, now it's getting stronger. Now it's it's like a lion, right? I want to get it to a bear. I want to get it to like a, a, you know, something that's a very strong, powerful, like a silverback gorilla because it takes time, effort, money to feed the hero because what you feed grows. So if you choose to feed the secret identity, it's going to grow. But if you choose to feed your hero, you know, soar and arise exactly where you want it to be. You guys, thank you so much. We had a great weekend. Thank you for your support and your grace. For um, you know, we try. You know, we get these in every single day. I'll be back online tomorrow, Sunday, to be normal time. We'll have Sunday, Sunday. Just is over there sleeping, like a hobo. <laughs> My son's sleeping on the floor of the airport in a woman's uh, sweater. All right, guys. So thanks so much. Please share this. Someone needs to hear this. And just think that investment you're about to do. Just think that's the only thing standing in the way of growing. Because I knew when I signed that thing, I knew a door opened up that my future is so much brighter because now the I created and invested in the opportunity to happen for the message because I believe in the message so much. It's not me, it's the message. And we are together and we do it together. An amazing day. We'll see you soon. I'll see you in Houston next time I do this. Timmy D, me, and there's my son sleeping on the floor. We'll see you soon.